Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. I'm Megan. And I'm Sierra. Welcome to episode 3 of our basement makeover. Um, up to this point, we have mostly just painted a majority of the basement. We've shown you guys like some of our vision board and stuff. Yeah. This episode, we should be getting like the bulk of like the big finishing stuff done for the basement before we start bringing stuff yeah. in. So today we are going to be painting some baseboards. We just went and got these today, so we'll show you our little setup. Um, and, and then, then that way they can dry and we'll put them. Painting some of the entryway of the stairs going down into the basement, as well as finally painting over this section right here. If you remember, we had like a hole so in the wall there. So finally all patched filled, and textured. And, and it's ready for paint. So, um, and get... then, not today, but hopefully within the next week, we have, and we haven't shown them this yet, so we can at least show you what it looks like, but we have our slap panels from the Wood Veneer Hub. They are working out with us on this video. Uh, I believe that we'll have a link down below if you guys are interested in checking them out, um, but we'll talk through that once we get over that section. Basically, by the end of this episode, we're hoping we just need to, like, bring stuff into the basement and, like, have, like, Start maybe one or two more episodes after yeah. this. That's the couch the has been ordered. I don't think it'll be here for this video, but... Um, big things are happening. So our dad told us to get this big giant tarp for painting and then we got eight eight foot trim pieces that we we're painting the same blue as the rest of the basement. We have to, some of you guys were a little iffy in our last video of our decision to paint, paint everything. everything. Maybe you won't be convinced in this video but I do hope by the time we have the reveal we brought you over to our side. Okay, quick check in. I've got my first coat done on all the baseboards, except I have to go back and do the sides. Sierra's so got kind of a first coat on the wall, and then we're also touching up the bookshelf a little bit over here. We're gonna go talk about the wood panel now. So this is what one of the wood veneer hub panels looks like. It's essentially like wooden slats on this black backing. They're obviously very lightweight. I can hold it up on my own. Um, and then the panels will seamlessly kind of interlock together as you install them one at a time. Um, it also provides soundproofing as well, which is another added bonus. We aren't going to install them today, like we said earlier, but we will show you guys like a more in-depth installation process and kind of... Because we'll have to cut them to size. Part it is. Yeah, these are too tall right now, so we need to cut them down, um, adjust when we get over by like the stairs and stuff. But we will let you guys know how easy or hard the installation process is. Okay, I did two coats of paint on the baseboards and the sides are now painted. Um, I think it looks good enough for us to at least install them on the walls and then we'll decide if we need to do any more touch-ups. So that wall's also painted now. So it's still drying. Sierra and I are now both going to be moving on to the stairs. This part right here is just going to stay unpainted because at first we weren't sure if we were doing this accent wall. So we'd started painting it, but now it's obviously getting it covered. So we're just doing corners and then ceiling. And now we are ready to both work on the hallway. It is a new day and today is going to be a big one for projects in the basement. Sierra is actually working today so my dad is coming over to help with a lot of the projects that we're doing. Um, but I think after today like we're going to be in for a really good spot in the basement. Hopefully it'll look less like a construction zone and more like a put together basement. Um, and so I'm excited because once Sierra's back home from work, I want to do like a little surprise reveal for everything we get done today. Um, big projects are going to be getting baseboards put in, putting up the slat panels from the wood veneer hub, and then also hopefully maybe getting the projector installed. Um, as I mentioned earlier, we are working with the wood veneer hub on this video. And so if you guys are interested in doing anything similar like this project, and having kind of a wood accent wall, you guys can check out our link down below. You can get 5% off of your order. Um, but I'm really excited to get those put up today and see how much of a difference that makes for our space, as well as seeing how easy the installation process goes. Um, I'm excited for today. I think I'll start by going downstairs and just kind of giving you guys an overview again of the space. 
um, so you can kind of see where we're starting it today and then hopefully by the end of the day it looks better. Okay, here is the hallway. Um, this is not a today thing, but we are wanting to add some sconce lights along the side to kind of mimic a movie theater and it'll also add some more light in this hallway because we only have the one all the way down here. And then we have, of course, our half-painted wall because uh, we weren't sure if we were doing the accent wall at first and then when we decided we were, we just decided to not finish painting it. Coming around the corner, um, we've got the baseboards um, still out and then all the slat panels here. And yeah, a bunch of trash and mess over there. So I'm really hoping to get some of this cleaned up today. I almost forgot to get you guys to tell you what we're doing. That'd be kind of bad for the video. We are just about getting ready to do the first official cut and start the installation process. So here's my helper for the day. <laughs> Okay, so we have 94 and a half inch slat panels, so we measured our wall and they need to be 92-ish inches, so we're gonna mark that out and do our first cut. Okay, we just put up the first panel. Um, we're gonna go back and once everything's up, we'll put more screws in where we need to, but it was a nice tight fit. So now we have another one to keep going. So we've got kind of a system down. There's two slat panels in each box and we've hung four up so far. So we're doing the next box. We unbox it all, take all the trash off, and then we cut both of them right away and then we're installing them and then we move on to the next box. Okay, panels are looking good. We have just run into our first one where we need to worry about taking the outlet out. So if we cut it to size, we're gonna make sure we like how it fits and then we will account for the outlet. Here's how it's looking so far. And my dad's a pretty picky person. He said he's been very impressed with the installation process so far and it's been going pretty smooth. Okay, so I made a little template on the wall that we then used to trace the outlet cover onto the wood. So we're gonna cut this out and then hopefully we do it right. Time for another update. Um, we are on the stairs now. We put our first piece in, which we really just needed to take like a little divot out and it actually fit really good. Luckily the carpet gives us a little bit of room to not have to make it perfect. But I'm gonna show you, this is by far, like out of the entire wall, this is the most complicated piece because we have to make adjustments for the steps on the bottom and then the slant on the top. So I think we've got a system and we're gonna focus on making some of the cuts and then Hopefully not mess up on this one. So this one, you can see we just had to take that little divot out and it fit like a glove. So now we have to account for this little section here, the slant, and then this part of the stairs. But if we get past that one, then we'll have to do like a little bit more of the corner up here and then it's all square pieces again. Here goes nothing. I'll let you do yours and I'm gonna say your good luck if it works. <laughs> <laughs> That's a lot of moving, that lot of moving part. You know what? I think we have to go in a little bit more on that. Wait, actually. Oh my god, we're good. There's a little bit of a gap here. Where? Okay, so we gotta cut that peak down. Okay. Yeah. That's doable. Oh, oh my yeah. god. The last piece has officially been cut, so we're gonna put the last one in. Woohoo! Not bad, right? Mm -hmm.
The installation process went about as smoothly as I think could be expected. Um, it did take a little bit more time than I was anticipating though. So we're gonna call it good for having finished the wall today and then um, we'll do the baseboards and projector not today. Um, and I might just try and pick up some of the trash down there too because there's a lot of it down there now. Okay, I've led Sierra down the stairs and her eyes are still closed. So you can go ahead and open your eyes and take a look. Whoa. Gotta explore. Job. We are back for another day. Today we are putting the baseboards in. Okay, starting to look really quite this finished, except for all the mess still. We did not work today. Alright, we're working on our last exciting update for today. Working getting the projector hung up, and so our dad's just installing the top. Part. We'll turn it on and see how it looks, but we don't have the projector screen. Yeah, not so we need to figure yeah. out, once we get it projecting, what size screen we'll want. And then we can get that ordered, and then we'll probably order some other stuff. But aside from the mess, it's getting pretty close to being like the big stuff is almost done. I just got home from work, and we've got some fun deliveries today. Um, that I'm gonna see if I can go downstairs and kind of put together and hopefully it won't take that long So we are gonna try and put the cable management stuff up today um, So that all the cords are hidden. This should be Said long cord that I needed. I had to return the other one I got because it was too short I am no tech guru, but I watched a YouTube video on this yesterday before I ordered this and it seemed like it should work um, This is an aux to Bluetooth transmitter and then I got got a long speaker to hopefully connect to the Bluetooth that will make it so the audio sounds better. So I'm gonna go see if I can get all this figured out. I'm doing my little mock-up before I actually put it up. So there's like four foot sections. You peel this off and then stick it to the wall and then sometime later this week we're gonna paint these to match the wall color. Um, they come with some connectors so the plan is for it to plug in here, run up this wall, up here to this corner, run across, and then to the projector. So, going this way, then we have a connector, it'll run across the top of the ceiling, and then this one goes a different direction so it can run across the top. That did take me longer than I was anticipating. <laughs> um, speaker works, we got that figured out. Tried the Bluetooth out. Cord is in, cord covers are in place, um, and we will paint it and hopefully it Blends in as much as it can. I know this isn't ideal, but we were not going to go and do like the full in-wall cord situation because we did not want to cut through our walls. Hello, it is the next day. I am going to be doing some more things in the basement. Um, the reason Sierra is not helping me is because it, she is taking Vegas to um, a little indoor dog play place because we're planning on podcasting tonight and we need him to be tired. So she's going to go wear him out. So that means it's just me painting. But today, we are gonna try, I'm gonna try and see if we can get everything painted, all the touch-ups um, on the ceiling, the walls, touching up the baseboards, doing like the cable covers. There's a little bit on the stairs still that we need to do. So like, the plan is after today, we are officially done painting. Um, so that's what I'm gonna go do. The most annoying part is probably going to be having to do the stairs. So I'm kind of wondering, like you can see right by the carpet, I have to take like a scraper and like get it right up to the carpet and do all of that on both sides. So maybe I should start with that. I vlogged like none of that because I was busy putting in work. But dare I say, we are done painting. The lighting's not great down here because it's nighttime, but, on, and also some of it's still drying, so it might look uneven and not great if it's wet, but I will show you what things look like. Cord cover, painted, two coats on there. Stairs, I even, we do have some paint stains on the carpet, don't mind that. Painted the edges. Okay, exciting stuff for this video, this episode. The base of the basement <coughs> is officially done. I'm gonna show you guys one more time now that it's all cleaned up and things are like out of the way. Sierra did a final vacuum yesterday. Um, next episode is gonna be starting with me bringing the couch downstairs because it's actually here today, so I'm really just gonna like end this video and start the next one. Um, but let's see what the basement's looking like right now. Vegas will lead us down. Um, still pretty dark right here. I think we are thinking about ordering like lights 
for sconces just on the way down because the only light we have right now is the one at the bottom of the stairs. Beautiful wall. So here is the basement in all of its glory. Um, paint is done. Um, we have got obviously a little bit of a mess over there, but the wood wall, mm -hmm. the high, the feature, the highlight. Again, a reminder, you guys can use the link down below or our code um, if you guys are interested in getting something like that. You want a discount. If you guys like this video, you like following along on our channel, make sure you give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe to our channel down below. And we will yeah, see you guys. One I, more episode. I know, I'm like, probably. are we doing one more? Probably. I don't feel like we need to break it up into two more. So we got one more episode to finalize this basement. So stay tuned because we're hoping now that all the base work is done, we're trying to just kick things into gear. Mm -hmm.